Do you have lots of space? I've got lots of space and I'm here to move my body. You brought your body, right? I hope so. All right, Let's see if we can sit up nice and tall. So what does that mean? So maybe I'm trying to stretch my head up to the ceiling and my shoulders are back and I'm sitting up nice and tall and I say, good morning. Hi, my name is Miss Britt. So you would say, hi, my name is Steven, or hi, my name is Paisley, or hi, my name is Liam, Charlotte, whatever your name is, you would practice saying it nice and loud and clear. Excellent. What animal do you think you'll be today? I think today I'm gonna be a muskrat. We had some muskrats make a home in our pond last year. It's very interesting, they do good work. And they just minded their own business in the pond. So I just say good morning to them, you know, stuff like that. What animal will you be? Hmm, who knows? All right. Well, so we said good morning, check. Oh, Mr. Parsons, Miss the library. But then we're gonna warm up our body. Oh, you knew that. Okay, so you brought your body. We're sitting up tall and we're ready. So if you have a head, touch your head, touch your head, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it gently, nicely to that big old brain. Touch your ears, turn them on, give them a wiggle, make sure they're open, great big listening ears. Touch your nose, give it a tap, make air come in, air go out. Whoa, air went in your nose and out your mouth. Try again, tap your nose, air comes in, air goes out your mouth. Everything's working. Good. Touch your chin. Do a think. Hmm. Little think a roo. Think a roo. And then maybe think with your wizard beard. Hmm. Thinking with my wizard beard. It's very long and I'm very wisdomous. That's definitely a word. Do you have a neck? Can you say yes, please? Can you say no, thank you? And then tap those shoulders. You know what to do. Move them up and down, up and down, up and down. Wake up those shoulders. Try not to move the rest of your body. See if you can just move shoulders up and down. Shoulders are always moving. But then I get trickier, right? You know I love a good trickster trickville. So one and then the other and then one and then the other and then one and then the other and then one and the other. Maybe you can go really fast or maybe you could go really, really slow or really fast. I don't know which way you like to go. Both ways are right. Now touch your elbows, turn them on, move those elbows forward. Oh, show me how you move them. Elbows are bending. Show me those muscles. <laughs> nice muscles. You must have been playing yesterday. Oh, show me those muscles upside down. Great muscles. Tap your knees. Wait a minute. We forgot our belly. Do you have a belly button? Touch that belly button. Rub your belly, turn on your belly. Oh, now tap your knees. So silly, Miss Bread. And now could you pick up your foot and could you wave good morning to me? Good morning. It's a beautiful Monday and I'm waving to you with my foot. Good morning to my neighbors. Good morning to my family. I don't wave with just hands. My feet are terrific. Oh, ready? Here we go. Bend it in. Pick up that foot, baby. Hold on to that foot, baby. And then rock your foot, baby. Now, hold it gently. Don't drop your foot, baby. <laughs> and then talk quietly. Like, shh, 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 shh. Love you, little foot, baby. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, foot, baby. It's time for a nappy. <gasps> it's sleep. Put your foot, baby. Pick up your other foot, baby. That's twin foot babies. Oh, make sure you rock the other foot, baby. But stay very quiet. Very quiet. Twinkle, twinkle, little foot, baby. Please be quiet and go to bed. We have to do yoga. Oh, good. Put down that foot, baby. And then put your two hands up and wiggle your fingers. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle all 10 fingers. Put your hands together. Rub them together. Rub, rub, rub. Rub them together. Rub, rub, rub. Are they getting warmer? You're making energy with your body. So if you move your body, you make energy with your body. That is amazing. One hand on my belly. One hand on my heart. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Say, I am ready. Me too. Let us stand up. Doodly do. All right. Up on my feet, I packed my body. I packed a positive attitude. Now let's see if we can get all of Miss Britt's long, tall body in the screen. <gasps> She's getting good. Woohoo! All right. Stand up tall like a nice tall mountain. Toes and heels together. Arms down by your side. Tallest, strongest mountain. You wouldn't fall over, right? You're very strong and tall. Good. We're going to say hello to the sun, a sun salutation. 
A salutation is a greeting. We're going to greet the sun and warm up our body. So whatever I say, you will repeat after me. And you'll be able to do this because you're a very, very smart kid. So we'll say, hello, sun. Clap, clap, clap. Hello, earth. Tap, tap, tap. One, two, three, four. Lower your belly down to the floor. Lift your heart up high. My legs are together. My belly is on the floor. My heart is up high. And I'm a snake. And you know how snakes are always like, cock a doodle do. That's what they're saying, right? That's not right. That's not what snakes say. Oh, they hiss. Oh, Stephen, you know what to do. Snake party. <gasps> Push your paws into the floor. Lift up your tail. Shake it some more. Bend your knees. Jump forward, please. Deep breath in. Peace within. Whoa, that was really good. But you know the secret. If we do something again, what happens? Even if we do a really good job, if we do it again, we get better and better and better. So one more time, toes and heels together like a nice tall mountain. Last time, best time, repeat after me. Say, hello, sun. Clap, clap, clap. Hello, earth. Tap, tap, tap. One, two, three, four. Lower your belly down to the floor. Lift your heart up high. And it's time for a good old-fashioned snake party. Let's hiss slowly down to the ground. Are you ready? Push your paws into the floor. Lift up your tail. Shake it some more. Bend your knees. Jump forward, please. Deep breath in. Peace within. Whoa. You're good. Give yourself a round of applause. Maybe a pat on your back. Two thumbs up. All right, we gotta get down to business. Today is important. Okay, so I need your help. So sometimes Miss Britt misplaces her stuff. Have you ever done that before? Have you ever lost something and you couldn't find it and you were upset and you were mad? So I lost my magic gratitude journal. So I have this journal and this is secret magic, but I'm gonna share it with you because I love you. So right before I go to bed, I take out my journal, I write one, two, three, and I write down three things that I'm grateful for. Maybe one day it's pizza, maybe one day it's my family, there's no wrong answers. It's what I love and am grateful for about my day. And then I close it up and in the morning, when I wake up, all the things I say thank you about, more of them show up in my life. I know it's bananas, but you don't have to believe me. You could try it yourself. It will work. It's crazy magic. But when you say thank you, more of that shows up. So I lose my journal and I'm super sad. So I need to go to all my friends' houses and look for it. Could you come with me? Could you help me please? Okay, good. I'll grab my backpack. So I got my Spider-Man backpack and I'm ready to go to all my friends' houses. Now, oh, we're gonna have to fly to the first place. So could you bring your toes and heels together? We gotta get in our airplane. So we're heading to the Rainbow Kingdom of Empathy. Are you ready? It's a very important place. Arms out wide, warm up your wings, circle, 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 make them straight, stretch them out, take a step forward and fly. Now I want you to balance on one leg, but I want you to use your imagination and look and see if you could see the rainbow kingdom. So as you're flying through the sky, if you were to notice any rainbow colors, anything beautiful, maybe we'll know if we're there yet. Are you looking? Okay, wait, take a step back. Let's do the other leg. So take a step forward. Oh, let's fly. Okay, the rainbow kingdom is pretty far away. So we're still flying and we're balancing. And if it gets to be too much, you could always tap your toe down and try again while you're looking and you're observing and whoa oh I got the wigglies good we're here okay so we get to the rainbow kingdom and I see a gate so we're gonna go into gate pose so can you get down on one knee and make one leg long one arm up to the sky one arm touches my leg this is called gate pose so I'm on one knee, I have one leg out to the side and I'm stretching up tall. Wow, this is a really big gate at the kingdom. How are we ever gonna get in? Hmm, let's check the other side of the gate. So other knee, 
Leg out to the side. One arm up to the sky, one arm down, other side of the gate. This is a pretty tricky way to put my body. I wonder if you look like me right now. Probably. You're very good at everything. Oh, wait. Gate's coming down. We get to go in. And you know who's there? It's my friend, Princess Ava. Oh, my gosh. You guys are never going to believe this. So she's sitting in her throne. That's a chair. So bring your feet apart and bend your knees and sit out in your chair pose. So sit your hips down and bend your knees and pretend you're sitting in an invisible chair, but it's a throne. So take your crown and put it on your head like Princess Ava and then sit up really tall because you might be a king or a queen or a knight or just someone very fancy and wonderful. But are you sitting low in your chair? Is it hard to keep my hips low? Oh, come back up. All right, so I tell... I tell Princess Ava, I'm missing my journal. I was here for a tea party last night. Have you seen my journal? She says, no, I haven't seen it. But maybe you could ask the frog prince. Oh, go over and see the frog prince. You know what he says? Let's jump first. Stand up tall, squat down low. Time to jump with a frog prince. Ready, set, go. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Wait, he hasn't seen my journal. He just wants to eat flies all day. All right, we can eat a couple of flies while we're here. Mm, eating flies. Okay, wait. So, who else is here? Well, the wise old owl was at the tea party. Maybe he knows. Okay, let's be an owl real quick. So squat down low. And then try to grab onto your opposite elbows around your back. So stay squatting down low. Miss Britt's going to show you what it looks like from behind. So you're just grabbing onto your hands. Maybe I can only get my fingertips. Maybe I could get my wrists. Maybe I could hold on tight, but I'm balancing. And maybe, maybe if you're super tricky, you could say, hoo, hoo, hoo. But that owl didn't know where my journal was. And I said, all right, Princess Ava, we have to go somewhere else. It's not here. But before I go, could you tell me what you're thankful for? And she said, I'm thankful for my sisters. They're so fun to play with. And I said, that's great. I'll see you later. So I'm not going to take my plane because the next place we're going to go is the big old ocean of love. So you know what we got to do. We got to row our boat. That's the only way to get there if we're going to get to this ocean of love. So feet flat, bend your knees, arms out straight if you please. This is boat pose. I'm a boat right now. But maybe if I'm feeling strong, I could try to lift up my feet and then I'll sing, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. That was a nice boat. But there's a storm coming and you know that storms sometimes cause waves. I'm serious. You know about waves? Okay, do me a favor, take your arm, put it behind you, do a safety check. Make sure there's no Pokemon, no Legos, no little sisters. Make sure you've got safe space to roll backwards if a wave hits your boat. Feet flat, bend your knees, arms out straight, if you please, and I do please, maybe lift up my feet and I'll sing, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 way! Whoa, whoa. Could you come back up and balance? Wait, did you go all the way backwards and then come up and try to balance like a boat? Whoa, could you stick your feet out long? That's so tricky. Strong bellies. Let's try it one more time, last time, best time. Watch out for those waves. Be flat, bend your knees, arms out straight, if you please. Lift up your feet and we'll say, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a wave! Did you make it back up? What did you see while you were down there? When I came back up, I know what I saw. I saw a flag. So could you put your arm on the floor? Could you come up and balance and hold up your arm like flag pose? 
And maybe this is too much and it doesn't feel good on your body. So maybe I'll put my foot forward to hold myself up. Maybe I'll put my hip down and start here. Listen to your body. It's always sending you messages. If it feels good, maybe you can come all the way up like this and stretch up because you're a flag. Whoa. I'm trying to see what kind of flag it is. It's kind of far away. It looks kind of black. Now let's try the other side. Let's see if we can get a little closer. So I got my hand on the floor and I lift my hips up and I lift my arm up to the sky. Oh, I know who it is. Good news. It's my friend Della the pirate. Don't worry. She's a good kind of pirate. She helps people, but also like a total sea warrior. So I said, Della, I'm missing my magic journal. Have you seen it on your boat? Have you seen it in your pirate ship? And she says, no. But you know who I think might have seen it? And I was like, well, tell me. And she's like, all those mermaids over there. She's like, my friend Nora, the mermaid, might be able to help you. So let's go into mermaid pose. Let's bend our knees to the side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my foot on my front knee, my back knees like this. And then I just sit into my hips. This shouldn't be very hard. If it doesn't feel good, come out. But this is just a nice relaxing pose because I'm now hanging out with these beautiful mermaids. My friend Nora the mermaid said, we haven't seen your gratitude journal, but I would love to tell you what I'm thankful for. And I said, okay, please tell me. And she said, hold on, I gotta change my feet. Oh, okay. So I, I'm gonna bring the other foot backwards and then I'm gonna put my foot on my knee and I'm gonna sit up tall like I'm a mermaid sitting on a rock. Maybe wave to some sailors going by. Oh, that's nice. And then my friend Nora told me, she said, I'm thankful for beautiful purple dresses. And I said, you know what? I think that's wonderful, but I've gotta find my own journal. Do you know where I should go? And she said, okay, just go that way, past the crabs, and then you'll be able to hitch a ride to your next stop. I said, thanks, Nora the mermaid. So let's run past these crabs. Let's get into our crab position, lift your bottom up in the air. You know about crabs, maybe they crab forward, maybe you crab backwards. Now, could you crab to the side? Is that tricky to do? How about the other side? Can you still hold your bottom up off the ground? Even if you lifted one leg in the air, even if you lifted the other leg in the air, even if you did a crab dance, you could still hold your bum up in the air. That's so very strong. Wait a minute, who can add the arms? Can you add an arm and add a leg and add an arm and add a leg? Oh man, crabs are fun, but we gotta keep going. So the other place I visited this week that my journal might be is I went and I checked in with my friend Santa. Do you know who he is? Jolly guy, lives at the North Pole. So we gotta head to the North Pole. And as soon as we get to the North Pole, you wanna know what the first thing we have to do is? You're right, it's snow angels. Can you lie on your back? And can you open your arms and open your legs and make some beautiful snow angels? Because we love snow if we're at Santa's workshop. I love some snow and I'm making a snow angel. Oh, but let's get back up. We gotta find Santa. He might know where my book is. He's a really good friend, good guy. You probably heard of him. So sit on your knees. I'll remind you of what you might hear if you know my friend Santa. So sit down, kneeling down and, and put your hands on your belly. Now, if you were to know or hear my friend Santa, you would hear something like this. It would go, ho, ho, ho. Now, could you make that noise like Santa? But can you feel the noises in your belly? Okay, ready, listen closely, go ho, ho, ho. Did you move your belly when you said those words? They came really deep like this. Try one more time, ready? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> wow, it's really fun to be Santa. But Santa, I'm missing my journal. It's where I write down everything I'm thankful for and then they magically come true and it's how I make the world a better place. And Santa said, relax. I can help you. He said, first, have a candy cane. Stand up, arms over your head, and then bend to one side like a candy cane. Santa said, take a deep breath, have a candy cane, and relax. 
we're gonna figure this out together. He said, you know what, have two candy canes, go to the other side. Maybe have a, a delicious candy cane, take a deep breath, enjoy your candy cane, and we can solve anything together. Come back up, bring your arms down by your side. Whew. So I'm walking around the North Pole, I don't see my journal, I see a bunch of new toys for Christmas. You wanna know what I see there? I see a bunch of bicycles. Do you know how to ride a bicycle? Super fun. So come on to your back. Let's practice our bicycle. So I'm on my back and my legs are up and I'm gonna bring my hands behind my head. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring one leg out and one leg in. And one leg out and one leg in. Now watch this. When I do that, I'm gonna bring my elbow to my knee. Tricky, huh? Elbow to my knee. Elbow to my knee. Wait a minute. Like I'm riding my bicycle. Whoa, this is kind of crazy. It's tricky to think which way to move my body. Whoa. Oh man. Santa, riding bikes are fun, but I don't think my journal is here. And he said, I don't think so either. So I said, Santa, could you tell me what you're thankful for before I go? And Santa said, I'm thankful for good kids and I'm thankful that I have a job that I get to make them happy. So I high five Santa and you know what? I hopped on the nearest donkey and I headed to the next place that I would go visit my friends and look for my journal. So could you get on all fours because we have to take this donkey to the next place. You ever ride a donkey before? I sure do like the donkey in Shrek. Now, could you bring a knee to your elbow and then back and then a knee to your elbow and back? And when you ride a donkey, this is what you say. You say, he, ha, he, ha, he, ha, he, ha. Oh, did you make donkey noises? That's kind of fun. Could you try the other leg? You would go, he, ha, he, ha, he, ha, he, ha. <laughs> well, that's really fun, but we're here now. We made it. Oh, phew. You know where we are? We're at my friend Big Joe Monster's house. So I have this friend Big Joe Monster and he's a big monster. I don't know if he's like a dinosaur, if he's just like a giant monster. It changes. But I go to his house, which is what I call the Big Monster Fun House. And I thought maybe since I was dancing with them the other day, maybe they would know where my journal was. So I, I show up. I find Joe and he's with his friend, Jack B. Ninja. <gasps> Jack B. Ninja. Whoa. Ninjas. You know what we got to do? We got to stand up. Let's do some quick ninja moves. So first what I would do is I would take my hands up like this and then I would do chop down, chop down. Can you do that? Can you say hi-ya, hi-ya. Whoa, that's nice chopping. Hi-ya. Hi-ya! Wait, could you do it kind of fast like this? Whoa, look at my super chopping arms. This is pretty good stuff. Wait, but also ninjas, they do kicks, right? Okay, but ninjas are smart and mindful. So make sure no one's in front of you. Think about your body when you take a step forward and do a kick. Whoa, how'd it go? Okay, try again, ready? Mindfully think about your body as you take a step forward, you do a kick! But then maybe you have to say, hi-ya, 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 hi-ya! Whoa, wait a minute. Do you have safe space? How high could you kick your leg? I'm like, hi-ya! And then I said, hi-ya! And that was really, really high. I was like, man, you guys really, really like to have fun. And they said, yeah, we're the most fun. And they said, we like to hang out here, Jack B. Ninja, Big Joe Monster. And then we hang out with usually a bunch of monkeys. I said, what? Monkeys? Okay, ready? So let's bend our knees. And then let's get our monkey arms. And then let's pick up all the bananas. Are you ready? Pick up all the bananas. Oh, now do a monkey dance. Wait, you dropped the bananas while you were dancing. Pick up all the bananas. Okay, now do a monkey dance. Wait, you dropped all the bananas while you were dancing. Pick up all the bananas. All right, more monkey dancing. That's 
is nice. All right. This house is too much fun. And I feel like we're not going to get anything done. So I said, Big Joe Monster, before I go, I got to keep looking for my journal. Could you tell me what you're thankful for? And you know what he told me? He said, I'm thankful for my family and for fried seafood. Isn't that crazy? So crazy, but it's so delicious. We love seafood. Welcome to Cape Cod. And you know what? I love my friends, but I got to go one more place. All right, get my backpack. We got to get out of here. My donkey took off. I don't know how we're going to get there. I guess we'll have to walk. So could you just start walking for me? Walk, 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 walk. Maybe you could lift your arms up to the air while you walk. Maybe you could put your hands on your hips while you walk. Maybe you could lift up your knees and march and see how big you could march when you lift up your knees because we've got a long journey, but we've got one more place to go. And it's one of my favorite places to go. It's called the Meditation Station. It's under a big tree 100 feet into the ground. So first, let's say hi to the tree fairies in the tree. Hands together, foot up, tree pose. My friend Lily has been mastering this tree pose. So what do we know about tree pose, Lily? We know that we're not gonna push on our knee. That would be mean to our knee. My foot is low, my foot is high, but it's not on my knee. And maybe I get wiggly jigglies. Good, that means my body's learning. I'll put my toe down. I try again, foot down, other leg, let's see, maybe here today, maybe low, maybe up high, and maybe, just maybe if I get all my tricky balance in order, I'll lift my arms up high and I'll be a palm tree. Or maybe I'll bring my hands down low and I'll be a Christmas tree. Or maybe I'll bring my hands out to the side and be a dancing tree. Ooh, dancing tree, dancing tree. Oh, the wind got me. Success. I fell over, my muscles learned something. That's amazing. But we gotta go down to the meditation station. So I followed a couple of butterflies. So sit down, follow these butterflies to the secret meditation station of all secret meditation stations. So hold on to your feet and flap your butterfly wings. Maybe you're a monarch butterfly, maybe you're a purple butterfly, maybe you're, I don't know, maybe you're a rainbow super butterfly, maybe you've got big wings, maybe you've got double wings, ooh, maybe you've got teeny wings, I don't know what kind of wings you have, make it your own. Every type of butterfly is a good butterfly. Oh. All right, we've made it. Now, I see the wise old camel, I feel like he'll be able to help me. So let's come up into camel pose. So I want you to stand up on your knees. So I'm on my knees and I put my hands on my back. So look at Miss Britt's back. My hands are like I'm sliding them into my back pocket. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push my hips forward, hips are forward, and then I'm gonna drop my head backwards. All right, now if this is where my body says is good for me today, this is my camel pose. I push my hips forward and I let my head go backwards. And that's perfect for today. If you're feeling a little bit deeper and that your body might be a little bit more open, what you're gonna do is you're gonna push your hips forward, drop your head backwards and try to grab onto your heels, lift your chest up, drop your head back, and this is camel pose. I'm opening up my heart to the sky. I'm opening up my hips as I push them forward and I'm trusting my body as I breathe slowly. Now come back up, take your time and sit down. <sighs> wow, that was a really, really good stretch. I bet you guys did a terrific job. All right, now sit down, cross your legs. So I'm talking to this wise old camel and I said, listen, I've lost my notebook. I'm very sad. I'm very embarrassed that I can't find my things. I need your help. And he said, okay, the first step to solving a problem is figuring out how to be still and calm down. I said, 
I don't want to calm down. I want my notebook. And he said, no, listen closely. He said, cross your legs and sit up tall. He said, put your palms up like this and sit up and take a deep breath in your nose and then blow it out your mouth. Okay, I did that. He said, now listen, I want you to take a deep breath in and then with the kids, I want you to say the word OM, which is O-M. That is very silly bananas. It's a funny sound, OM, OM. Can you try to make that sound, ready? OM, OM. What a silly sound, OM. They say that that's the first sound that was ever made, OM. Now watch, when you make that sound and you hold on to it, it makes a vibrating in your body. So ready, take a deep breath in, and then say, OM. <gasps> Did you feel it? Was there vibrating in your body? Wait, try again, take a deep breath in, and then say, OM. Onto it was it super long time oh man that was a really silly thing to do but very cool i can make vibrating in my body and i'm starting to feel a little bit calmer he said okay so why don't we try to breathe like a volcano to calm down so squish your hands together like you've got all the hot lava take a deep breath in and then let all the lava flow ready oh good try again ready hands together squish all the hot lava Take a deep breath in, deep breath out, all the lava flows. Let's see if we can do it three times very fast. Hands together, here we go. Oh my gosh, that was really tricky, but I kind of feel better. So then the old camel says, put your hands up and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in your nose. So do this with me. See if you can close your eyes, trust me, you're safe. Take a deep breath in your nose, relax your shoulders, close your eyes and sit up tall. Now breathe in and out of your nose, sit up tall and say kind things to yourself. Repeat after me, say, I make mistakes, but I'm a smart kid. I can always fix my mistakes because I am awesome. Now keep your eyes closed and see if you can look into your imagination and see what you see in there. Anything good today? Clouds, puppies, dogs, maybe your mom. What's good in your imagination today? Find your happy thought. Who's your happy person? What's your happy thought? Is it swimming? Is it your dog? Is it sunshine? Is it rainbows? Is it macaroni and cheese. Where is your happy thought? See it, find it, hold on to it. Take a deep breath in your nose, lift up your arms. Deep breath out, arms come down. Open your eyes. All right, so I took some time to calm down. And I got to tell you guys, I forgot to look in my backpack and my magic journal was with us the whole time. Have you ever done that before? Have you ever been so mad and worried that you didn't look somewhere very close to you because you were feeling a lot of feelings? So now I got my magic journal back. And you know what? Tonight, I'm gonna write in it that I'm thankful for you for helping me. I wonder what you'll be thankful for. But put your two hands up and wiggle your fingers because we've got to end this magic because you've done a fantastic job. Put your hands together and rub them together. Rub, 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 rub in my hands. One hand on my belly, one hand on my heart. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Say, I am kind. Yeah, you are. Two hands up, two hands together, rub them together. Rub those hands, rub a rub a rub rub those hands. One hand on my belly, one hand on my heart. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Say, I am brave. Yeah, you are.
two hands together, last time, best time, rub them together. See how much energy you can make with your body. Are they warm? Are they tingly? You can make energy when you move your body. Wait a minute, you're full of magic. One hand on my belly, one hand on my heart, deep breath in, deep breath out. Say, I'm a great kid. Yeah, you are. You are a fantastic kid. You're helpful. You helped out Miss Britt. So good things are going to come to you today. So I wonder if today you could write down three things you're thankful for. Send them to me. Say them out loud. Write them down. And I promise the more you say thank you, the more those things will show up in your life. So now that you know the secret, you got to go do it. I love you all. Have a great day. Play in the sun. Paint me pictures. Namaste.